Welcome back to the Empty Nester Diaries. Glad to have you. We are going to do a hotel review, and as we say, an honest yes. review of the J Hotel, which is a Marriott brand. It's the autograph collection. We're going to give you the pros and, and the, cons. the cons, right? And let you decide if this is where you want to stay while in San Francisco. Do you want to start with the pros or the cons? I think maybe I think the let's pros. Let's start with the pros. Yeah, yeah. let's okay. start with the pros. All right, so pro number one is I think the location is fabulous because it's right near the Transamerica building, right near the Embarcadero, right near Market Street. Like it's super close to everything, which is so convenient because, and there's lots of food down there and coffee shops and everything. So, you know, you know me and my coffee. Excuse me. I happen to be passing. I thought you might like some coffee. Right, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, it's not too far from Coit Tower and Fisherman's Wharf and Pier 39. I mean, we like to walk everywhere, but if that's not your jam, it's not too far to get a Uber or a taxi that's or true. what have you. Yeah. So it's not, you know, break the bank distance away. So yeah, I would agree. And then right up the hill, which we didn't do, but we've done before, is Chinatown. Just oh. past Transamerica up the hill. Also right in there at Chinatown. And then just kitty corner from Transamerica is the North End and the Italian and all that. So it is a really good location, it's I would very say. Good. It's good. very good. Good choice, babe. Your folks would be proud of you. All right, what would be another pro that comes to mind? It just got remodeled. Yeah, not too long ago, it got remodeled. Yeah, so and it's beautiful. It is very, very nice, yeah, right? Yeah, they did a fantastic job on the remodel, so. I think they spent some serious moolah on the remodel and it turned out really great from like floor to ceiling, even the yeah. entry doors. I mean, it's pretty kind of like, was like, wow. Top notch, like, yeah. So we come out of the elevator on the 15th floor and we're 15 to one. And you can see they've done some really kind of cool touches of this whole remodel, even the walls. It's just pretty modern and nice. So, Junior Suite. You know, they did a good job on remodeling the hotel. I will give them that. I like the carpet. Yeah, you like the carpet down here? That's yeah. pretty cool. It doesn't look like it's awaiting a porn star. <laughs> it's the carpet. <laughs> in the room, sorry. I'm really big on carpet. Some of that carpet is in the hotel rooms is like questionable. <laughs> <laughs> big TV, right? Foot the, foot the head. Uh, mirror there. Oh, nice. to head mirror. Full length mirror. Is there that better? <laughs> Full <you> length. <laughs> a foot to head I was mirror. trying to describe. Isn't that new? Yeah, we're starting new things, babe. Foot to head mirror. Everybody's got to have one. <laughs> It's the hottest thing going. And then all the other little amenities and little touches they did, I mean, they really thought it through. The outside patio areas oh, were yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, oh, There's I three wish three floors could have spent up. more time on the patio. We were just like, go, go, go the whole time. Yeah, just... But I think the outdoor patio would have been so beautiful at night with the city lights and the twinkle mm. lights and they had jasmine growing everywhere so it smelled amazing. Mm -hmm. There's like little fire pits everywhere. Like it was beautiful and I think that I would have loved to spend more time there if I didn't have to walk everywhere. They got some outdoor heaters, babe. Perfect for you. Yeah. In between all the skyscrapers, they got the pretty foliage. Look. You can smell the jasmine. The cinema is right next door. And you can smell the jasmine, huh babe? Strong? That's awesome. Fire pits here, that's so cool. Another pro in regards to the kind of location, I would say two things. One, you have the cinemas right next door. Movies. So if you're just kind of like, hey, let's go catch a movie. That's always kind of fun, right? So that is definitely walking distance, literally right it's across literally the street. Right across the street. The other thing, and this kind of falls into the cons as well, but yet it could be made into a pro. If you valet your car, I was shocked. It was $80 a night to valet your car. Who wants to take my valet ticket? Wow. 
No bueno. However, I will say San Francisco, not the safest in regards to your cars parking on the street. Oh. They literally will break your windows and get into your car. So you don't want to leave it. anything out that looks valuable. Even if your radio looks like anything, it's pretty crazy. We have many, many friends. Okay, but we're talking about pros. I know, but <laughs> so I'm getting there. I'm okay. setting it up. Okay. It's the builder, okay. right? So anyway, many, many friends have gone down to San Fran and come back with broken side windows and, and so on. If you want to not pay 80 bucks a night for valet, but yet you want to have it parked in a nice kind of like Safe protected space. area. If you go down a block or even two blocks down, you can park yourself, which I did because I don't mind walking. It's not very far at all. And it was far cheaper. I think for our total parking bill for the two days was like, 40 bucks versus it would have been 160 or something like That's that. That's a huge thing. Right? You just saved my life. Yeah. 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 So pro, con, you know, there and you go the on the parking. the parking garage is right next to a coffee shop. So Pete's coffee. Go. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> a little plug for Pete's. What are all right. some of the cons? No. Oh, Let, there's more pros? Yep. Let's oh, talk about right. another pro. Okay. I think it is a pretty tall hotel. Oh. And we were on okay. the 15th floor, but it goes a lot higher than that. You getting reflection in the mirror in the glass, but pretty cool city view. Remember the reception, it's on the third floor. Like mm. you got to go up to the third floor just to check in. The views are pretty phenomenal That's depending true. on the side you get. I would say ask for, push for the bay view. You're going to see the bay bridge and uh, those sort of water, things. That would have been a, a good A water view. view we do and not have you get the city lights at night. So you have the city lights, the bay, the bay bridge, right? They were all booked, so we didn't get that. We got the other side and it, Which is still it was okay. Beautiful. It, it was so okay. Beautiful. You got city lights, but it wasn't like long range city lights no. and everything going on. So the pro is they do have those great views at the hotel. The con would be they may be pretty filled and um, oh, that might, you may they not might get have it. to pay a premium price for those views. Yeah. So depending on what side you get of the J and then how high you get, you can get some pretty good views up here. As you can see, we got the views of the bay out there. Pretty stunning. You got the marine layer coming in. See the boat. So make sure you get the ocean side or the bay side so you can see some of these stunning views and get a high enough floor. So that moves us on to the cons. <laughs> And I will say there were a few. I did not leave with like a great taste in my mouth, we'll say for the J. Let me put a good taste in your mouth, babe. Oh. Well, now, Overall. was Overall. it the J or was it Marriott? No, it was the J. It was the J, okay. Yeah, it's, okay. it's part of the autograph collection. And if you know Marriott's, they are franchise, you know, they're not all corporate owned. And so this J is an investor right, group that owns it or, and spent all the money on the remodel. And I don't know, my view is maybe they spent too much money on the remodel, so they're having to really kind of mm. tighten their purse strings to, to help get some of that back. Case in point, typically, if you have earned status, which we are platinum members and we're lifetime, so that means not one year of platinum we've done it for 10 years you know you're guaranteed late checkout at 4 p.m which is uh, lovely that was not necessarily the case at the j we didn't need it no i think i asked about I, it and i don't said, think we would have gotten no and then you're guaranteed free breakfast and nope, no free breakfast. They have continental, which I don't consider breakfast. And then to give platinum status lifetime, that means 10 years or more, we've been platinum, okay? To get continental breakfast. To me, I'm a, I love food. That's not a breakfast. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I want some hot food, you know? And if I feel like I've earned the platinum status, I wanna be able to, you know, have some bacon, eggs, whatever, get my day going. I just want peace. <laughs> Coffee and pastries in the morning, made with a smile, huh? <laughs> what was another thing? Oh, water. When you check in at typical Marriott hotels as a platinum, you get to pick something from the marketplace. You know, there's got all this different stuff and you can pick whatever you want or you get a welcome gift or, I don't think they had any of that at the J. No, they did not. They it, did not have a marketplace. Place. No, it didn't have a little marketplace. I think the points they gave were just like super minimal. And then when we get up to the room, another con, like they didn't even have free waters for us, which, you know, I, I think that's kind of a basic thing. But we get up to the room. I'm pretty and they, sure a water bottle costs like 45 cents. 
<laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. But these specialty waters, little thin oh. missiles of aluminum. They were um, in an aluminum tin can, yeah, which, you know, yeah. that's high end. Yeah, yeah. And so they were $6 a piece if you had one of these waters little. in your room. And they're tiny. They're like a... Okay, so these waters are supposedly special because they're five dollars oh. each. Is that a five? That's a five, yeah. Okay. No, it's a six. Oh my gracious. That's six dollars, yeah. An eight. <laughs> but then if you're thirsty, complimentary water stations located on every floor near the ice machines. That's right. Uh, but I'm sure these are definitely worth six dollars for water. Totally. Absolutely. Totally. Those are pretty narrow water yeah. bottles. If that's six dollar water, <laughs> how much is this little bottle of gin that I could fit in my hand? Should we compare this? That's gotta be bottle? 40 bucks or something. I don't so know. So like a hydro uh, flask? Water bottle. <laughs> hydro flask. <laughs> See now you're glad that I brought this. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. Pretty room though. I must say, the remodel, pretty room. Right. <laughs> right. What would be another con that you can think of? They didn't have a lounge. It's not possible. Yes. And if you're, you know, the J is an upscale, nice, pretty hotel. Very nice hotel. So don't get me wrong. Like Should it's have a lounge. really, really nice, right? And they did a full remodel. And you would think that a really nice hotel would put in an area for platinums and above to have a you know separate space. So like a lot of the upscale Marriotts have that. Mm -hmm. No platinum lounge. No, no. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, I'm sorry, I don't have one, but we'll do this for you. I think another thing was at a really nice hotel, at least at Marriotts, at Platinum or whatever. A lot of times they'll give you a welcome drink, oh, or at yeah, least a coupon. True. You know, like, hey, go <laughs> take this to the bar, and yeah. you can pick out a drink that's on us. Really have nice. a complimentary drink on us. <laughs> No, didn't have that either. And you're paying like many, many hundreds of dollars a night. Oh yeah, it's not cheap. Right? And yeah. and so basically what I'm looking at is, I'm looking at a hotel that has a really nice remodel, good location, but a lot of some of the amenities that I'm used to and maybe pampered or spoiled or whatever, but Marriott does you're promote so these entitled. things. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but Marriott does promote these things like, hey, if you got this status, you get this. And then yeah. if you don't get it, it's like, hmm, I don't well, know. Doesn't, yeah, doesn't, doesn't set, set right, right? right? Yeah. And especially if it's one thing after another after another. So, so for those of you who are like true Marriott owners and are super loyal, if you go to the J, you're probably going to get disappointed and frustrated. Yeah, if you're expecting to have those things. Yeah. If you just go, well, we watched Matthew and Lexi's video. We know we're not going to get all that, but we're going to have a great location, that super nice hotel. We're going to open up the pocketbook and spend some money. You know, we're going to get breakfast elsewhere, whatever. Yeah. Then yeah, you, you'll probably really, really enjoy it. Yeah, it, it's beautiful. The rooms are gorgeous. The bathrooms are phenomenal. The shower had really great pressure. Which and I the love. mattress. And the mattress, oh, it's probably one of the best mattresses I've slept on. I slept yeah. super good. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. There's the honest review of go. the J autograph collection within the Marriott brands. Yep. And would you go there again? Um. Here's the kicker, huh? Yeah. I don't know if I would. Yeah? Yeah. Just I really because like it. it's a lot of money and feeling like Yeah, I just feel like we were getting penny pinched and nitpicked the entire time and it just it left me kind of meh. Meh. Yeah. There are some other Marriott brands in the city that also good locations and so on. Yeah. Um, there's a vacation club, the Pulse, right there, the Fisherman's Wharf. That's pretty good. That's a really Haven't good one. Haven't tried that one yet. So. Yep. Yep. Anyway, well, there you go, guys. Hopefully that's helpful. Leave some comments if maybe we missed something in this review or yeah. you got questions about the hotel, like, hey, you didn't talk about this. Put them in the comments. We're pretty good about answering them. Yep. And thanks for watching. All right, guys. Take see you care. Next time. Bye bye.